What's going on guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you guys another video. Guys, what's going on? You're not going to believe what happened yesterday. Um, uh, every now and then I'll tell you guys I get good offers, this and that. You know, you talk about DoorDash and Grubhub, Uber Eats, Caviar. I used to do Postmates. You know, and I talk about it every now and then. But yesterday I got my biggest payout from Grubhub ever it was only it was off one order so they gave me an order and uh, this was around I was on block um, but I'm not premier or pro and I'm gonna get into that a little bit after I tell tell you guys what type of payout I got and how far and how many items and all this kind of stuff so anyways so I got it 45 bucks I said oh fuck yeah I could not believe it so I was so happy uh, my second biggest was 40 and that was with Grubhub. That was like a little bit, little bit ago, maybe, I would say six months, maybe six months ago. That's what I'm guessing, like springtime, early, probably spring, end of, end of, the end of winter, early springtime when I got that other $40 offer. But this one was 45 and um, the cool thing is I was on block. It was kind of slow during the day yesterday, and always Saturdays are slow for me. I don't know why. Like during the day, lunchtime, it's just always really slow. Um, so I was like, man. So yesterday during the day, I only made like during the day I only took two offers because those, you know, all the other offers were just so low or they were just too far away, you know. And so there were only two good offers that I did, and I saw so I only made like 17 bucks took like a two and a half hour break got back on at four you know i was getting orders left and right you know um with grubhub and uh i got a few caviar not too many um just a just a little bit maybe two or three i think but the rest were all grubhub and they're all over ten dollars now and i specifically did this on purpose because i know at least in my market you know and even if it's really busy and if you don't know if this is going to work or not, then that's fine. But everyone should experiment. Try different things out. Don't just take my word for it. But 9 out of 10 times on the weekends, uh, especially at night, from like, I would say starting at 4 o'clock, from like 4 till the end of the night, 4 to 10, 4 to 11, um, you will get good offers. Now, you will get thrown some shit offers. I'm not going to lie. You will get thrown some bad offers, like three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, you know, with DoorDash, Grubhub, or whatever. Um, I mean, this is mostly for Grub. I'm talking about Grubhub mostly, but you'll get some good. You get some good offers. You'll get some bad offers. You'll get some like kind of okay offers, like six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Not too bad if it's a close buy. You know, ten dollars. Um, you know, so you can get good offers. So I'm telling you guys, you know. Some of you guys say, well, Mike, how do you do it? I made a few videos telling you guys how I do it, how I make about $200 a day or higher. And so yesterday I made about two sixty-five grand total. And if you're in my gig, if you're in my group, it's called the Gig Economy on Facebook. Every now and then I'll post my earnings if I have a really good day or if I get around to it. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll give my advice or I'll tell people how I did. Or you know, pe other people in my group will post their earnings. And maybe they might be in different areas different states different cities so it's a really cool group so if you haven't joined already please join that group it's called the gig economy and i'm also on there so you can chit chat you can communicate with me directly um i'm a really cool guy so uh, anyways so yeah you can get really good offers on the weekend so what i do friday saturday and sunday night starting around four maybe five I will decline everything under ten dollars. Now, some of you guys are saying, "What the hell? How can you make money?" So think of uh, just let me explain. Let, let me explain it step by step. So, if you accept bad offers, right? Every uh, every order, everyone, you know this this area. I mean, it doesn't matter where you live. Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it's busy. Sometimes it's medium busy. Sometimes it's average. Whatever the case is, um, there's always going to be good offers. Especially on weekends. I don't care where you live. Friday night, Saturday night, even Sunday night. It's going to be, you're going to get good offers. Um, so, 
I always tell people like, hey, on weekends, man, you got to be more picky because there are some good ass offers and you will miss out on good offers if you're accepting like a, below $10 per order, especially with DoorDash. They're, on DoorDash now, there's good offers. Now they change the pay. It's, it's actually not too bad. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from, from DoorDash and when I, when, I, when I do DoorDash, um, you know, it's pretty good. But usually I just do Grubhub, Caviar, Uber Eats now. And I do I do dog walking on the side. It's just just to add a little bit more extra money. It's not it's not a big app. It's not a big money maker. At least in Sacramento, San Francisco, it's a big money maker. But here in Sacramento, there's too much competition. You got to click it. The customer has to accept you. And it's just like you know not you know half the time you click on it, you won't even get accepted. So it's like it's just a waste of time sometimes. Unless it's really slow on delivery, then I'll snag a walk. If I snag it, cool. If not. Oh, well, it's whatever. So anyways, I tell you guys, there are some big-ass offers on Grubhub, especially on the weekends. I would say I'd get, I get my biggest offers. Um, I get my biggest offers on the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And usually it's about, you know, dinner usually starts around 5, but you can start about 4, 4 o'clock, 4 to like 10, 4 to 11. And um, you will get some really good offers. So that's what I do. I just decline everything under ten dollars, and uh, usually I do pretty damn good. During the week, it's kind of slow. You know, that's debatable. Dinner time can still be okay, but you know, seven, eight dollar offers if they're around the corner, one or two miles. You know, I ex I would accept those during the week, but on the weekends, you know, I don't care if you're Premier or Pro or partner or if you have a low acceptance rating or a high acceptance rating you know you gotta realize guys we are independent contractors you're not gonna get in trouble for declining orders or rejecting orders or canceling orders or whatever you're not gonna get in trouble for all that alright so when you go out there especially on a Friday Saturday and Sunday night you need to accept at least ten dollars that's the bare minimum for night deliver weekend night deliveries from 5 to 10 5 to 11 I would even say 4 to 11 all those hours there are some there are orders going out because it's the weekend people got money people don't have to work there are orders man I'm telling you football uh, games going on a lot of you know I'm telling you the weather's changing now it's it's good money so I'm telling you guys on weekends Ten dollars or higher. Um, so yeah, yesterday was great. So I got that forty-five dollar offer. I was on block, but you got to realize I'm not a premier driver. And if you don't know what that is, with Grubhub, basically what they say is if you accept every order, you get like you get elevated to like it's called premier. There's premier, pro is like the middle, and then partner is the last one. So to achieve Premier, which is the best one, um, basically you get access to like blocks earlier than the other guys, and you have access to the bigger orders, the bigger payouts. Um, I've talked to Premier drivers, and you know, they just accept whatever they get. They're get, they're accepting three dollar offers, four dollar offers, five dollar offers, and sometimes they're going anywhere from anywhere from like five miles away to 10 miles even 20 miles out and i'm like 20 miles that's like in another town how can you accept an order that's like three or four dollars or five dollars and you go hella far it's like well i want to keep my premiere and i do all right you know 100 bucks a day or 70 80 dollars a day you know and it's like maybe every now and a great while they'll get some good offers um or what you can do is do what I do, be a partner, and decline the low ones. And on average, you can make ten dollars per order or more. Like yesterday, I only took ten offers. I only took ten orders. Why do I have trash in my hand? <laughs> Sorry. I got ten orders last night just on Grubhub. Only ten, but I made a hundred and eighty-two dollars. I made a hundred and eighty-two dollars. So that averages to about eighteen dollars per order. Um, most weekends, it's always around ten dollars per order, maybe a little bit higher, eleven, twelve dollars per order, because I'm accepting. Because I, 
put my foot down. I'm t I tell myself, no, I'm not going to accept anything lower than $10 because, you know, you can take a few orders here and there. One might be 10 one might be 15 And the one I got last night was $45. And so that showed up around 6 o'clock. See, I'm telling you guys, from 6 to 8 is peak time. But you could still get good offers. I mean, my last offer, I actually got, it was a batch order. So I did it. Dropped off the first one, which was like $7, but it was right around the corner, about a mile mile this way up north. I went all the way back to drop off the second order. That was like almost $9 payout. And the dude, he pulls out, he pulls out a wad of money. He gives me a, a $20 cash tip. Now realize, his order is only about three items. So at most, he paid for the, his food is only like 30 bucks, and he had a girl with him. That might have been his wife or... Um, you know, who knows? Friends with benefits, his girlfriend, I don't know. But she was smiling. He was happy. You know, he pulled out a wad of money and he was counting it. And see, I don't like, I see, to me, uh, I think it's rude looking at someone's money and, and looking them counting it out. So I was just like, I turned my attention to her. I started talking to her. Hey, how, how's your how's your guys' night going? Blah, blah, blah. Because it's just kind of rude to count, you know, look at someone's, you know, but, but he did it. He pulled out the wad of money. He had a huge ass wad of money. So, you know, I smiled at him. So I, I acknowledged like, okay, yeah, you didn't give me a tip. So I stood there longer. I talked to her and then finally he pulled out, you know, a 20. He's like, oh, here you go. I took it. I, and I always say this, not everyone does this, but I always say, are you sure you want to tip this amount? Are you sure? Are you positive? Just because it shows that you're, you, you are acknowledging you're getting a big tip and you know, you're just double checking. You're like, Hey, you just handed me a 20, just letting you know, is this is this the type of tip you want to give me? Um, so you just say, hey, are you sure about this? Uh, you know, you sure you want to tip me this amount? And once they say, yeah, then okay, that's fine. I take it, boom. So that one was $29 because the, 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 the pay was $9. Well, actually, he tipped $6 on the app, and then he, he, he gave me a, a $20 tip in cash. So I'm telling you guys right now, on the weekend, you need to accept ten dollars or higher because unless your market's that bad, but I guarantee you, there are going to be some bigger orders in your town, and you're going to get some good offers. Like last night was just so good. Even this morning, I I started at nine in the morning. Oh man, IHOP was popping. Fourteen dollar offer, I took it. Thirteen dollar offer, I took it. Uh, what was the other one? Eighteen dollar offer, I took it. Um, I forgot the the other ones, but, um, yeah, by like one o'clock, I already made like $80 and I was kind of hungry. I took a break, relaxed, checked my Facebook, you know, now I'm making a video, you know, and the dinner rush is about to start soon. So I wanted to make this video and let you guys know how I did and, and just letting you guys know, don't accept every order. I mean, if you want to keep your premier pro, pro status, that's fine, but it's not necessary. You're going to make more money, I'm telling you right now. Like I said, I'm clearing 200 or more every day. 265 yesterday. Excuse me. Um, I mean, I'm just killing it. I'm doing really good. So you guys need to realize, no, not yesterday. Friday, I made 265. Yesterday, I made 205. I only made 205 yesterday is because the lunch time was so really, really slow. But the dinner time, I just killed it. I just totally killed it. You know, $182 off of 10 orders only. So that averages up to about $18 per order. That's pretty good. That's like my best uh, ever. Like as far as like per order goes, that's pretty damn good. Uh, it's really damn good. I've never hit those kind of numbers on DoorDash. $18 per order? So I'm telling you guys, you know, there. this might have been just a, a rare day. But regardless where you live or your status, you need to realize don't accept those trash offers like $3, $4, $5. Like, why? Why? Oh, because I want to be cool with Grubhub and, and be Premier. Yeah, but, but you hardly, these Premier drivers, I talked to with some of them. And I'm telling you, I tell them, oh, how, what's your biggest payout in this net? Oh, $20, $25, $30. Like nothing that I've been getting. I be, I got a $40 offer one time and a $45 offer. And you know why I got that $45 offer? Because I declined the low ones. 
If you decline the low ones, the high ones are going to pop up eventually. I'm just saying. So you know what? If, if you don't want to take my word for it, that's fine. Test it out in your market. Try it for yourself because you guys are missing out on some big ass orders. And, you know, I don't want to say I told you so, but I'm telling you that could have went to another driver, you know. But you know what? There are a lot of drivers out there. They're like, I'm going to accept every order. And that method works, too. But nine out of ten times, I'm going to ask you how much you made for the day. You say, oh, I made 100, oh, I made 150, not too bad. And you know what I'm going to tell you? Oh, I made 265 today. I made 205 today. And uh, there was one guy in, in Sacramento, he's, he was an Indian guy, and he was like, oh, you, how do you do so good? I don't understand, you know, you, because you're a white guy. I said, I said, no, man, you got to you gotta cherry pick. And he didn't know what I was saying. I'm like, I said, look, man, you can't accept every order. You know, you can't be too picky, but at the same time, you can't you can't decline too many either. But like on weekends, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would like decline anything under ten dollars. Like that's just me though. It's like why not? There are big offers out there. So if you decline if you accept the low ones, that's your own fault. Like I'm sorry, but it just makes no sense. And I'm you know, in my gig group, some of my friends are like, Oh, I took a like a I took an Instacart order for like 20 miles for like only 20 bucks and I don't know. I mean, I don't want to bash nobody, but at the same time, it's like realize that, you know, you're wear and tear in your vehicle. You got, you know, your time, you know, you got how long is it going to take you to finish that order and then come back to your zone, to your delivery area that you want to stay in. You got to think of it like that. So I made a video lately. I said $2 a mile at least. Um, and minimum that I take is about seven dollars, but when it's on the weekend Usually at night sometimes during lunch. I'll I might take some lower ones, but for the nighttime for sure Friday Saturday Sunday Ten dollars or higher or you just decline it. Just try it out. Just don't take my word for it Try it out for yourself. I'm just saying um, if it doesn't work for you, then you say, hey, Mike, it didn't work for my region. Okay, well, you know, it is it is what it is. But, you know, I was getting like $12 offers, $14 offers. I got the one for $45. It was a sushi place in West Sacramento. The pick them drop off, it was only like, it was about 14 miles, which is a lot. I mean, that's kind of a lot. But when you think about it, it's more than $2 a mile. It's actually $3.20 a mile. So I was getting $3 every mile I was driving. I was getting $3.20. So by the time I picked it up, dropped it off, that only took like 30 minutes. It didn't take that long. It was right off the freeway. Pickup was 10 minutes. Drop off was, um, the drop off was about 13 minutes. So it didn't take me that long. And I waited only about five minutes at the restaurant. And I made 45 bucks. It was a sushi order. I was on block, but I'm not Premier. See, those orders are supposed to go to Premier first. Like the big orders, those big payouts, the way the Grubhub system's designed or how it's supposed to be designed is the Premier drivers and the Pro drivers, they get, that order should have went to them first. I don't know why I got it. According to Grubhub, that's what they said. They said, if you're Premier and pro you get access to the big orders first and then if they decline them then we send it to the partners but i'm like who in their right mind would decline a 45 dollar offer i don't know who would do that that's a fucking good ass order i don't know who in their right mind would cancel a 45 who who would be premier if they get that offer why would they cancel that you know oh they want to take three dollar offers no that makes no sense you see what I'm talking about? So ask yourself, is this does this make sense to be Premier and Pro? Like the Premier and Pro drivers in Sacramento are probably thinking, oh, this mother, why didn't I get that order? I'm Premier, I'm Pro, I'm, I'm like, I'm better level than him. You know, I'm telling you guys, that shit doesn't matter, man. I'm telling you, don't be accepting these freaking horrible offers far away, a dollar a mile. That's not even, it's not worth it anymore. You need at least $2 a mile and if you're picking up and dropping off close distance, like two or three, one, two or three miles, 
it's got to be at least seven bucks. You know, you can't be taking six dollar offers, five dollar offers. You do five, 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 five. It adds up. Or you could do seven, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, forty-five, and that's going to add up even bigger in a short amount of time. And you could make good money in 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 a in a short amount of time. Like in just two offers, I made seventy bucks. Like within like an hour, maybe hour and a half. You see what I'm saying? So. The whole premiere and the pro, the whole premiere Grubhub level and the pro Grubhub level, I think that's just a load of shit. So that Grubhub can control the drivers. I mean, you know, someone's got to take the low ball offers, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care. So you guys can be premiere, you guys can be pro, but I'll be partner and I'll decline the low ones and I'll accept the better ones. Like that's just how I do it. So um, I don't know how you guys, what you guys' thoughts on this. Um, being on uh, being on block, being on schedule, being Premier or Pro. Do you guys have? Do, do you guys do good on as a as a Premier driver on Grubhub or Pro driver on Grubhub? Now my friend David, he lives in Ohio. He got a fifty eight dollar offer. Fifty eight dollar fifty eight dollars. He got paid fifty eight dollars off one order. He is not Premier. He is not Pro Driver. And guess what? He was off block. He was off block. He's not Premier or he's not Pro. So what do you think that says? What do you think that means? The, syst the Grubhub system is is a is a false. It's a it's a it's a phony. They say, oh, we only send the big orders to the top drivers. That's BS. Why did I get Why did I get the forty five dollar offer? Why did he get the fifty eight dollar offer? Well, I want. I think I know why. Do you want to know why? Because we declined the low ones, and the system doesn't pick out. Oh, who is the best driver in this little area? It doesn't do that. They send out the offers to the closest guy. Usually, that's how it goes, or whoever's available in that in that in that general area. That's how it goes. It doesn't matter. They don't care if you're premier or pro or partner. If you're in that area and there's no and there's no available drivers, and all the other drivers took the other offers, and a new one pops up, and I'm available, they're gonna just send it to me, and I have the right to decline that. But there's no way in hell I'm gonna decline that forty-five dollar offer. So. When they when Grubhub says, "Oh, we only give the big orders to Premier and Pro, and they get for they they though that the big orders get sent to them first because they're they're Premier and Pro, and they get they get special privileges." I don't believe in that. No, because there was no way in hell it was it was Saturday night. Uh, there were drivers out and about. There was no way in hell I should have gotten that order. There's no way in hell. If the Grubhub system, what they claim, works that uh, you that only the Premier and Pro drivers get the good orders. You do not have to be Premier. I just proved it to you guys. You don't have to be Pro even. You can be the worst one. You can accept. My acceptance rate is nine percent, and I'm getting good ass offers and I'm making good money. That's all that matters, guys. You know, you want to go out. You're wasting your gas, wear and tear on your vehicle. And, you know, it's like, why are you going to go out and accept these low offers when you can, like, decline that bullshit and be partner like me and get good offers like 45 bucks? After that, I got a 25. I did decline the low ones. Um, and then I got a 19. And then I got a batch order towards the end. I got some, I got a few more in between, but I can't remember exactly. But I got 10 offers yesterday. And I made a hundred. Well, I made 162 plus that that twenty dollar tip. So I actually made 180, 182 with that twenty dollar tip. But it was from a Grubhub customer, so that counts towards my Grubhub money. So if a Grubhub customer tips you cash, that's Grubhub money. You know, if it's Uber Eats, if an Uber Eats uh, customer tips you cash, that's Uber Eats money. I separate it. You know, like I do caviar sometimes. I'll do Uber Eats. So like when I post in my group. I, when I post in my group, I say 180, 182 on Grubhub because that's what I made off Grubhub. Off the Grubhub customers and tips, that's what I made. And then I made, what was it, 26 off Caviar. And then I made, yeah, whatever whatever else, whatever else it was. But I'm telling you guys, there are good offers. So that 20, well, my bad, that $45 offer, 
it was quick. You know, I picked it up 10 minutes. I had to wait five minutes. I went to the bathroom, washed my face and hands. It was ready, dropped it off, kind of far, 10 miles away. But for 14 miles, I made $45. So I actually made, um, I did the math last night. It was $3.20 per order. So as long as it's $2 a mile, it's good money. It's a good offer. It's a good delivery, and you should accept it. Anything below that, to be, with all due respect, you should not take it. You're messing up your car. You're messing up your time. You're messing up your deliveries. You know, you need at least $2 a mile. But anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for your support. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. If you guys have any ideas on what type of videos I should make, uh, comment below. Guys, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Have you know? Are you a premier driver? Are you a pro driver? Or are you a partner driver? And what type of orders have you gotten? Have you ever gotten 45 or higher as a premier or a pro or a partner? I want to know in the comments below. All right, guys, let me know what's up. I, I want to I want to get a conversation going. But anyways, like I was saying, you do not have to be premier or pro to get good offers. I just proved to you, and my friend, he got a better one than me, and he's partner just like me, and he was off block. So what do you think that means? I'm telling you, the, the premier status and the pro status, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Believe me, it does not matter. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you want. And that's it. That's all I've got to say. Check out my other videos. I have over 200 videos. I have almost 250 videos, so I have some good videos out there. So check them out. Like, comment, subscribe, comment below. And until next time, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Peace out. See you.